Hello and welcome back to BS Rugby. The new URC season is about to kick off and I am so excited. I'm back after a break over the summer and ready to give it a real good crack this season as we give our predictions ahead of each game a week. Of course, game week one is filled with nerves, anticipation. Nobody's sure exactly what's going to happen, but I'm going to give you my thoughts ahead of each game. As always, let me know your predictions in the comments down below. Leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. It's free to do and make sure to get involved. Let's go through each of the games and let's see what I think is going to happen. Starting with the first game then, the game to kick off at the URC season of 22-23 sees Benetton hosting Glasgow Warriors down at the Stadium Manigo in Treviso. 5.30 kickoff UK time and that then means that that is a 6.30 local time kickoff. As I said, both teams will kick off the new season, so no pressure on them to set the standard for this year's competition. Now, Benetton come into this com uh, uh, competition this year on the back of two fairly, fairly comfortable seasons, really, for them in the league and looking very, very competent indeed. But one big thing for them is, of course, Monty Ioane has left the side. He's headed to Australia. He's joined up with the Melbourne Rebels, and so he isn't there anymore. But they have signed Bellini to be his replacement and exciting to see what he can do signed from a zebra of course now Glasgow Warriors have gone and signed a few players and one from the Bulls to give them an option in the pack but it still seems to be fairly the same team from last year now Glasgow had a decent form at home but away they did struggle a little bit last season and of course last season we saw Treviso beat them in this fixture at home with a last minute drop goal I think we did a watch long for that and it was pretty dramatic at the end there so it's gonna be a really interesting game to see there's no form to go off so I'm not really sure how to back this one but I am gonna back Glasgow to get the win here get revenge for last season what happened last season I think it'll be tight there may be a few odd mistakes here and there but it's just gonna be good to get rugby back so Glasgow to win this by three to five let me know your predictions in the comments down below Let's move on then to the first game of the Saturday, sticking in Italy, but heading over to Parma, where Zebra will welcome last season's semi-finalists, Leinster. That game kicks off at 1.30 UK and Irish time, that is 2.30 PM local time in Italy. Last year's semi-finalists, as I said, Leinster travelling out to Italy for their first game. Now, for the Italians, uh, this season really needs to be so much better than last season. Last season, only one win finishing bottom of the competition and it's going to take a real challenge for them to get a win in this first game. They still have some great players in there, Luca Bigi as uh, the hooker, very experienced international for Italy. New signing um, as well, uh, MJ Pelzo signed from uh, the South African outfit Emirates Lions, so interesting to see how he gets on and Zebra will be looking to improve. They have to improve because question marks are truly going to be asked about them with Benetton being able to rise and improve. The challenge now is for Zebra to do the same. Now Leinster will be looking for a strong start and once they do get going they seem like such a well-oiled machine that they eventually just go through the gears and manage to get these wins and the momentum that they build is so so strong. Very similar squad from last season, a couple of players going out to the Irish, other Irish provinces but nobody truly noteworthy who's getting consistent game time. In this game, for me, there's only one win. I think Leinster will win this one comfortably. It may be a bit difficult at the start, Zebra being a bit frustrating to play against, but I'm going to back Leinster to win this one by 20 plus points as always. Let me know your predictions in the comments down below for this one. Are you Team Leinster or can Zebra do the unimaginable and win this one? The next game then sees Cardiff take on Munster. This game was actually meant to take place tonight at uh, half past seven, but due to the arrival of King Charles uh, in Cardiff this evening, this game has been pushed back to Saturday afternoon. That's a five past three kickoff at the Cardiff Arms Park. Now, Cardiff have had an extremely exciting summer. As an Ospreys fan, I've been pretty jealous with the signings such as Liam Williams and Talupe Falatao, to name just a few. For Munster, they did lose Damien Dialande over the summer, but they have brought in former All Black uh, Malakai Fekatoa into the team as well. For Cardiff going into this one, Cardiff feel like they have one of the most exciting backlines in the league. If it clicks, it's very exciting. With the addition, as I said, of Liam Williams into that back four now, uh, back three, sorry, it's really, really exciting for them. 
Munster looked so strong in the pack last season and especially using that driving more and they love to do that once again you'd think. It's going to be a really interesting game this one and it's a real benchmark for where this Cardiff team could be because you'd expect Munster to be there or thereabouts and I'd expect Cardiff to be there or thereabouts come the end of the season. I'm going to back Cardiff to get a very narrow win in this one by two to three points. That will either happen or it will take some time for this team to click with so many new signings. But I'm excited to see what Dai Young can do with this team. I'm going to back Cardiff to win this one by 2-3. to three. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. The next game on the Saturday, same time of kickoff for this one. So you have two games to choose between. It is the Emirates Lions taking on the Vodacom Bulls as 5 past 3 kickoff UK time. And that is at the Emirates Airline Park in South Africa. And the Lions last season finished the lowest of any of the South African teams. They'll be looking to improve upon that and to try and beat eventual finalists at the Bulls on the, the opening weekend. Now the Bulls made it all the way to the final, as I just said before, losing to eventual winners, the Stormers. Their physicality was a huge part of their success last season. They'll be looking to use that once again. The Lions have signed a Coutier from Benetton to cover the fullback position, while Edwin van der Merwe makes the jump across from the Stormers as well. This game, again, first game of the season, a bit of rustiness potentially, but I am going to back the Bulls to get a win here. They, once again, will be looking to be there or thereabouts come the end of the season. There are a few teams certainly going to be knocking at the door, and I expect the Bulls to be there. For the Lions, again, they just want to try and push up the table that little bit more, try and get into the playoffs, but it's so competitive this season. It'll be interesting to see how they get on. The tea time kickoff then sees the Scarlets welcome the Ospreys, my team, the Ospreys, if you didn't know, I'm an Ospreys fan. And we head over to the Park of Scarlets for this one, quarter past five kickoff, as I said, in Llanelli. Now, last season was one of the worst for Welsh supporters in recent memory, if I'm being totally honest. The Ospreys finished the highest of any of the regions in ninth Scarlets, finishing in 10th and Dwayne Peel will have had a full pre-season and a full season with this team heading into this new campaign. Now the Scottish traditionally played beautiful free-flowing rugby but last season it seemed they were a little bit naive in some areas maybe not understanding when the right time was to play, when was the right time to just go through a few phases or to get rid of the ball and clear your lines but with another year of experience a lot of young players in that team it certainly could benefit them. The Ospreys, we were last season very much up and down, having some good moments here and there, winning some good games and then losing in silly matches where we really should not be losing whatsoever. Consistency is certainly going to be the key and having someone like a fully fit Gareth Anscombe for a full season will make a massive difference uh, for this team. And the big thing to uh, think about, of course, is that next autumn we have a World Cup. So in 12 months time, just over 12 months time, we have a World Cup and players will be needing to play well and be in form and be fit. So we'll see how that impacts teams. In this one, I've got to back the Ospreys. I'm an Ospreys fan. It's, our, it, it, it's our, one of our biggest derbies of the season. I'm going to back us to win, but maybe that's my heart talking over my head. As always, let me know your predictions in the comments down below for this one. The late evening kickoff sees Ulster take on Connacht. This is kickoff at 7:35 p.m. at the Kings Panda Stadium in Belfast. Ulster last season finished third in the table and reached semi-finals. Final, sorry, before losing to eventual winners of the Stormers. Connacht finished in 11th, winning nine and losing nine at the sports ground, which you do feel if they can make that a real fortress, it could have a real impact on where they manage to finish in the league. For Ulster, a few things to certainly look forward to. Dwayne Vermeulen will have had a full pre-season and a season behind him in this environment, so we expect him to truly thrive this season. New fly-off competition with Jake Flannery joining from Munster. And also Michael Lowry is one of my favourite players to watch in this competition. Watch him play, had some experience with the Irish team now, and he'll be full of confidence going into this new season. For Connor, a new season in Peter Dooley, the pop from Leinster, Josh Murphy also in the second row joining up to offer them some more impetus in the pack. Keep an eye on Adam Byrne as well, who has signed from Leinster to Connaught. Last season, he's 28, but last season only played nine games, but only started six of them and got four tries. So keep an eye out on him. He could be an exciting option for the team down there. 
My predictions for this one, I think home advantage is going to tell. Again, first week of the season, it's difficult to know how things are going to be. But I am going to back Ulster to win this one. They have a little bit too much quality. They're going to win this one by 7 to 10 points. As always, let me know your predictions in the comments down below. Final game of the weekend then sees Edinburgh take on Dragons. This one kicks off at 25 to 8 down in the Dam Health Stadium in Edinburgh. Edinburgh played some of the best rugby last season in the competition, in my opinion. Some fantastic rugby be free flowing and um, with a really exciting backline which we'll get to in a second. Mike Blair led the team to a seventh place finish last year in his first full season in the charge and exciting to see what the former Scottish scrum half can do with his team this season. Dragons had a really tough season last year finishing fifth only winning two of all of their games and uh, lots of question marks over the the role that Dean Ryan had at the club, was he the right man to lead the team forward? Because they made quite a few exciting signings over the summer with the likes of Rob Evans, uh, Bradley Roberts, Angus O'Brien came in and a few others also. JJ Hanran came in as well to offer options at the fly half position. And so this season really feels like the season where they do need to deliver. They do need to do something this season. They need to be competitive at this level. For Edinburgh, you look at their back line and the options that they have. They're the likes of Buffelli, King on Velikard and Darcy Graham. It's a really exciting back line. It's whether they can get it all to click in the pack and get that platform for them. But how do I see this one going? I am going to back Edinburgh to get the win in this one. Edinburgh to win by 7 to 10 points. But it's going to be really interesting to see what these new signings do for this Dragons team and how long it takes for them to click together but there we go there are my predictions for this first game week of the season as always let me know your thoughts in the comments down below with your predictions i'll keep an eye out on them and we'll see how you do across the season give the video a like it helps push the video out and subscribe as well it's completely free to do it helps you keep up to date and enjoy the rugby over the weekend i'll see you early next week for the review of the opening weekend take it easy guys and peace